regions and uh, change that a little bit. But we can start from scratch on that one as well. So for instance, uh, we've got this and we'll do a new fill layer and say we want to add some paint. So we'll do that. There's some uniform paint. See, I was getting these weird, this is this is my problem right here. I get in this uh, texture stretching right here. So I need to, I need to clean that up. Uh, and the next time I'll, I'll try to re-export the map and uh, figure out maybe if it's either I need to separate that from the border because I'm getting some uh, some creep over there. Yeah, it's not it's not working right. But for down dirty, it was fine. Um, let's go ahead here and uh, drop in a. Actually, let's do this first. Let's um, make another fill layer. We'll put this underneath, and we'll, get, we'll make this a metal. So we'll come over here, and we will try something like that. And let's take the roughness up a bit. And then we can turn on our color on top of that, our paint. And then we'll add a black mask. And to that mask, we will create a generator. And on that generator, let's do something like the uh, my favorite one, which is the edgeware. And what we need to do is invert that, and there we go. So there's our there's our grunge coming out, and we can add and change the level of wear, contrast, okay. And then on top of that, let's add another layer, fill layer of dirt. So I'll just pick you know, from black. Again, add a black mask. Right click, add generator, and we're going to select some dirt. So now this gives us a nice dirt layer. Invert that. Actually, I'm sorry, we don't want to invert it. We want the dirt to be in the cracks. And take the dirt layer up a little bit. And then let's try adding um, a layer where we actually, no, it's just a, a layer, and we'll try doing some um, painting. And I'm going to use one of these tools here, the oil leaks, and see what we get here. Let's see. So I'm going to add some streaks in there. Actually, now you notice that this is going in the, in the direction I want to go straight down, so let's undo that. And let's go to the particle brush and we will turn normal factor to zero. And now it will always fall down. So I'll try this again. And it'll fall straight down. That's weird. I'm getting some weird, that was a weird little bug there. And it's, it's I can't undo that. It's in the layer. So let me turn that, you can see I can just turn that off. So I don't know why that's uh, happening. Let's do that. Let's get rid of that. We can start another one. I just want to show you guys really quickly here. So there, there we have that. Say for instance, I wanted to color this a separate color. I can just go in here and, and we'll just put this in. And let's see if we go to the brush and I'll just do like a dirt brush here. And let's do something like this. Let's see if I start painting here, start changing up that color. Now you'll notice I'm doing this on top of that fill layer. So I kind of move that around. And let's actually do something like this. So I'm just painting in the 2D window. Yeah, see my problem here is I, um, this edge is bleeding over into the blue area here, which uh, I kind of went in and had to clean up by hand. But yeah, this is um, something I need to I need to fix in that map. So let me go here and I'll just take my brush down a little bit. I'm just kind of try to clean this up a little bit here. Let's see. Up. I'm just using the uh, eraser end really quickly here of the stylus.
Dope. I can't do that one. That sucks. I might have a right mouse click there. Alright. And let's go to our visor. Bam. And same thing I did here, just lower, layered up some uh, some dirt and grunge and paint and hand painted it. So that's pretty cool. So I'm digging that. Um, I'm not going to save this out to send over to Marmoset. It's just basically the, the, the procedure that I used. And now uh, you just basically go here and you say file export your textures. And I selected the directory. And for each texture set, it will spit out the associated map. So. I know that I'm not using the um, the height map inside Marmor, so we're just using the base color, roughness, metallic, and uh, the, the normal map. So once you export that, then we're into Marmoset. And let me just uh, clear out this here. Oh, where's my render? We'll turn off this Warmer for now. And you can see this is what the maps look like. And this is all real time inside Marmoset. Um, just gorgeous render. Um, I wanted to add some backlight into this guy, so I went here and on the scenes I, could, I turned on a light. This light was a um, directional, and then this light was a point source. And you can actually select these guys and move them around and change the... Uh, actually, I'm sorry, I think I changed them both to... Yeah, I ended up changing them both to directionals. So you can see here, you can kind of go in and edit your lighting. Let me... Uh, I have my uh, depth of field on here. Let's go. There we go. You can see it goes into focus. It goes in and out of focus on the fly, which I love. So you can test out that look. You can rotate your lights, move them around. I want to get a little bit of that, that hit there. And then you can go in here and actually um, change the brightness of the light too, so you can kind of see how that works. Cast shadows on and off. So all that all that bump detail, that's just a map. I don't have to worry about painting all the stuff in, in ZBrush. So kind of knowing what you want. I, and I, I didn't realize that I was going to do this kind of a texture map for him. I just was going to, you know, I had this kind of clean, crisp texture here, uh, uh, finished surface for the character. I'll probably do another version of this where he's just kind of like a clean, crisp character. But, um, yeah, you know, it's like you just kind of go in and play around and find different different materials to, to screw around with. So that was how easy it was to go from ZBrush to Painter to Marmoset. Now I would say that the main issue is you gotta make sure you have really decent laid out UVs. That's your key thing. So um, spend that extra time getting your um, your UVs uh, set up because it really will pay off in the end. Um, where's my depth of field here? Let's change the focus. Come on, there we go. You say you take the near and far. I had the far blur too far. There we go. Pretty cool. All right. So um, if you guys are watching this, don't forget tonight I'm going to be on the Sketch Zone podcast, um, 9 p.m. Pacific, and they will also uh, they archive them I think the next day on YouTube and on their uh, on iTunes. But that should be pretty fun. Looking forward to talking to those guys. I met them. I met uh, Carlos and Michael at SIGGRAPH a couple weeks ago and uh, really jazzed to be part of that podcast tonight. So we'll probably talk a lot about this kind of stuff and my former work and whatnot. So tune in for that. And um, thanks for watching this, Brian.